Morning folks, welcome along to the vlog. It's just about to turn seven o'clock on an absolutely glorious Thursday morning. By all accounts today, they think is gonna be the hottest day of the week, something of the year even. Now something that's caught my eye today while walking through the park is this. So I thought I'd capture it on film. So it's some type of spider web but it looks like they've formed a protective shield stroke cocoon um, around some foliage or just as a stick that they formed it around there. I'm wondering if there's something living inside. Well, there must be. But what is it? If you know, because I don't, leave us a link in the description. I thought it was sheep's wool at first, but it's obviously not. Looks very strange, doesn't it? I don't want to destroy one to look inside because I think they look kind of cool. So, yeah, I've been walking elsewhere for the past month or so, mainly around the many Nottinghamshire Wildlife Trust nature reserves that we've got scattered across the county. And we're quite lucky in Retford because many of them are within a 10 to 15 minute drive. So, it's my treat to me and the dogs in the morning to nip out and uh, take in the view. So I've obviously not filmed all of these things because I thought we were getting a little bit dog walk heavy on the vlogs. I don't want to know a lot of you appreciate it. Um, some people are here for the beer. Some people are here for the um, tech. And some people are here for the doggos and the walks. So whatever you come for, that's fine by me. I'll just keep filming what I'm doing on a daily basis. And today we're walking. Um, I do have my eyes peeled though for, oh, we've got a little bit of, I thought there was some moisture on the lens then. Um, I've got my eyes peeled because we are approaching puffball season and we may spot a few giant puffballs around and if there's one of an adequate size, you know, almost like a honeydew melon size, I might take it for my tea. But anything bigger is probably just going to get wasted, so I'd leave it. Which is why I've walked down this way today, across the uh, open meadow. And it's a lovely walk it is too, but I've not seen anything yet. So we'll keep our eyes peeled, but we'll be up on the... Um, a levee of the lake shortly and when we get there I doubt we're going to see any types of fungus growing at all could be wrong but I don't think we will anyway that's three and a half minutes of your life you'll never get back folks <laughs> let's carry on we've got some Hebridean sheep over there and some longhorn cattle in this direction. It's good grazing out here folks. They look great. What a view. Just beside as well these absolutely huge majestic beech trees. So big I can't get them in shot. But I've just walked underneath them the trail goes right through past one that's fallen down at the end there. And the floor is absolutely littered with beach mast. It crunches underfoot. It's really what rather, uh, rather nice to enjoy these sounds of the countryside with nobody around, which is why I like to come at about six, seven o'clock in the morning, because as soon as the visitors arrive, the people ruin it. People are monsters, and monsters don't just come out at night. Look at these two plonkers, absolutely loving it they are. Reggie's covered in sticky things all over his chest. You notice the colour of the grass is starting to turn as well, which is, well it's bad on time I think, 16th of June today, in case I didn't put a little title in at the start of the vlog, probably did. I haven't done it yet. 
I'm lucky this morning we've got Bambi in the field I wonder if she's got a little a little uh, baby there is it called a kid? I can't keep the camera steady unfortunately I'm zoomed in eight times but we can see that she's sat there and also in the middle of the field so it's not like she can run off very easily shall we uh, put the steady cam on and have a walk around well, this is the best you're going to get on the steady cam. It's just like anti shake uh, mode on the camera, but it just it doesn't let you zoom in at all. But I'll just keep it close to hand because if she bolts off, we are going to walk a lot closer down there at the side of that path, so we might get a nice shot of her. I think she's sat right down in the grass now, so we can't see her. It looks like a doe. Is it called a doe? A female deer? It is, isn't it? Right. She's almost hidden there. But she is there. We know she's there. Oh, a couple of swans flying off in the background. There she is. She is, look at that. Off she goes. There we go. Oh, beautiful. She has got a little baby with her. Oh, that's wonderful. Would you look at that? <laughs> there they go. And away, and away. Wasn't that a wonderful experience? It's worth getting up for, folks. The place is brimming with babies. Look at those little fellas. And also, um, well, there's an egret there, I think it is. I don't know if you can see it in the, in the weed. Where are you going, Reg? I'm just going for a little dip. The dipstick. Yeah, over there, there was a swan on that little mound, and it looks like she's had her chicks and they've all gone for a sail. <coughs> Excuse my hay fever. Yeah, they've all gone for a for a tour of the lake by the looks of it. I can't see them anywhere. Can't see any baby duck, uh, signets, I think is the correct term. If we spot them, I'll come back. He's obviously found something down there. Oh, he's in. I can hear him. Have you been in for a dip, pal? It is warm, isn't it? Come on, then. We're going to go in the ford so you can get wet. That's one of the reasons why I like to come early in the morning as well. You know, they're both black dogs and... You don't want them out in the midday sun. Mad dogs and Englishmen and all that. And if today's going to be the hottest day of the year so far, then we don't want to give them heat stroke, do we? Or burn the little paws on the tarmac. Not that I'm walking on any tarmac. Oh, I will be when I get onto the road over there, actually. But yeah, it's better for the better for the puppies to walk them early in the morning or in the evening. And there is a woodpecker, if you can see it flying and into the tree it goes green with a black or a red head, I couldn't tell exactly um, I'll probably google it when I get back is it a lesser spotted woodpecker? the greater spotted woodpecker? who knows we've spotted the woodpecker, I hope you got a shot of it I couldn't see through the viewfinder because the sun's directly up there Oh, all the wildlife today makes me think I should just put this into a little vlog on its own and then carry on my day when I get to work. Because we're a bit, bit Clumber Park heavy, aren't we, today? Look, there's another one. Is that an egret or a shag? I can't quite tell. 
he's just gone underwater as I turned the camera across to zoom so he'll pop up somewhere in a moment He's probably under there catching some fish as we speak. Let's have a look over this side while we're here. Duckies, but no cygnets. Oh, it's just, it's just glorious, guys. Just glorious. I could sit here all day. Oh, he's just popped up over there and then gone back under again. I don't think we're going to get a shot of him. He's busy catching his breakfast. We'll leave him to it, I think. So I decided in the end, oh, you have a good slurp, Chance. <laughs> Slipping look. I know what's going to happen with me. I'm going to have to hold on to this fence. But yeah, I decided in the end that it would be best for me to put, oh, oh my god, put all this into a separate vlog. I think we're a little bit too Clumber Park heavy. So this will be the last clip, unless we see something amazing in that field up over there, and uh, or unless I fall in the water. Hey boy. Well, I got caught by the National Trust, of all things, come shot past me in their truck. Oh, I didn't think for a minute I was going to bump into anybody today, but indeed I did. Oh, look at all the little babies. Look across there. Little ducklings, I can't see through the viewfinder, but they are there. I better carry on in case any more traffic comes. There shouldn't be a lot of people coming across because the gate at the top of this side of Clumber's closed. Oh, I noticed that as well. All this is missing. They've uh, actually started work. Oh, there's someone coming. I'm gonna have to shoot through now. I can't believe we've found more traffic. Hey boy, this is a shocker. Hey boys, come here. Good boy. Oi, come here, you. Come here. There we go, another truck. They must be doing some work this morning then. Busy. That's the most traffic I've ever seen when I've done this walk at, uh, well, it's 20 to 8 now. Oh my God, that's rattled me. Trying to film, trying to walk across a very slippery ford and uh, trying to rein these two dogs in who are absolutely, they've got a mind of their own. Anyway, we'll wrap it up there, folks. And uh, stay tuned um, for the next video because we're going to go into work today and probably do some work on that Fobco drill press that Froggy brought me, which is uh, going to be an interesting restoration project. Or I can restore it as far as I can go anyway, because there's some damage to it here and there, but we'll do it justice and hopefully get it working. Say bye, Reg. Bye, Reg. I did wonder if we'd see anything strange. Look at the state of this path here pure dust this little fella's out of his uh, comfort zone isn't he he's going to end up absolutely baked in this weather if he's not careful you my friend need to find some shelter ain't that right